This is an opportunity to embrace history. This is a day when African Americans were actually freed. Newly freed people dressed up in their finery. Part of the pride that we feel is about self-love. Freedom, emancipation, liberation did not happen overnight. If I don't open my mouth and tell the story, who's gonna tell it? Black history is American history. The story of our nation's independence wouldn't be complete without telling the story of Juneteenth, the day that all slaves claimed their freedom. Juneteenth is paramount to the emancipation of African people in these United States. Too often, we find that we, as a people, have been omitted from American history. We need to open up our mouths and tell our story the way we know it. President Abraham Lincoln declared and signed the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, the abolishment of slavery in the United States. However, the people in Texas did not get this information before June 19th, 1865. Freedom, emancipation, liberation did not happen overnight. Um, it was many years in the making. The former slave owners and others resented the emancipation of the formerly enslaved people through the rise of the Ku Klux Klan. They burned uh, property. They harassed the newly freed people. They wanted to maintain slavery. It was predicated on economics. The most economically viable crop was cotton. They were still burning and killing and lynching black men, women, and children. Bodies could be found hanging on trees or floating in rivers. June 19th of 1866, the first Juneteenth celebration, Juneteenth, which came from June 19th, was celebrated in Texas. I think we as an African-American community, uh, part of Juneteenth, part of the pride that we feel is about self-love. Celebrating an end to a most inhuman act is just the right thing to do. We celebrate Columbus Day and all these other days. This is a day when African Americans were actually freed, even though their freedom was at a cost. The whole nation should be celebrating that they finally let the African Americans go who they enslaved, who helped to build this country. We need to celebrate all that comes with that date and all that came before and after. It helps us to remember the things that we had to overcome to be where we are. Many of our educators don't know a lot about the African-American experience. I didn't learn about stuff like this until I was in college. I don't remember reading a single book by an author of color. It's sad to say, like, I didn't learn about this until I went to college. It took me going to college, majoring in English, and then taking black lit courses to like have this whole world open up to me. And that wasn't fair to me either. Even though I'm not a person of color, that's not fair to me. Some students won't go into higher education, so we need in public schools, especially in elementary and middle, to talk about these things. I can't be a servant of the public, essentially, and leave out 70% of, our, of our, our kids. There is a need to make sure that education is changing. One of my students raised their hand and said, "Miss Jones, why are you reading this book with black people? It's not February or Black History Month. And it was just shocking to me that they felt like there was a certain month or a certain time that we could talk about groups of people. This is an opportunity to embrace history include their history, their culture into the curriculum so that they feel seen, represented. So much more literature is available to students now. Black history is not just for folks of color. Black history is everyone's history. All cultures are represented in the United States and all of our students need to know about that. 
Black pride should be a part of our being. I live, breathe, teach my pride every day. Well, I'm, I'm black and I'm proud. It's, you know, we all should be proud of our color. Pride in black culture means our rich contributions in music, art, and food. Pride is very central to my beingness. I don't hate anyone, but I love black pride. I love who I am, and I thank God every day. Juneteenth and Black Pride should be embraced by people of every race, age, and nationality. The more we learn about each other, the more common ground we discover. Black history is American history, and Black Pride is American pride. The only way to ensure a bright and peaceful future for all is to build that future together. I can't put my pride into words. Just watch me walk. I walk with a limp, but just watch me walk, okay? <laughs>